Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh, if we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit, and I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are gonna ride out, and we are gonna find some food. Everybody? We're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, Get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. We need you strong. OK. Goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Yeah. OK. 
Careful over this bridge here. Can't believe we lost Davy, too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Hey, I think I see something up the path. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is, er, was, yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. Easy, easy. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Ed. Oh. Okay. Let's head down there. Hitch up here. What are you doing? Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Sounds like quite the party. You too. Get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. Friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the train. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some. There's a body food in the wagon. Oh, I hear you. Just gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much.
doing too well. Goddamn, O'Driscoll boy's here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. Micah, go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. O'Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. Well, you should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we miss. Sure. yet find out what they're doing here and where Colm is oh this son of a bitch will talk where's Colm O'Driscoll with the others at an old mining camp southwest of here near the lake what are you bastards doing why are you up here uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. You need to hitch him. He's already skittish.
Michael, what the hell do you think you're doing? Come here. Get the hell out of there! Wild thing, ain't ya? Leave her alone. I wasn't doing yeah. nothing. She's one of them O'Driscolls. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Yeah. Are you... Oh, you fool! Michael! Miss, now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And... Can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Yes. It's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently, scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur. How you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And... He'd look for me. Thank you. <sighs> This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time.
I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well... Seems somebody left. Recently. And... That way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. It's over. You were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Tracks go left, down here. Come on, up there. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. <clears throat> Freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. Uh, I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Look up there. Distract him while you get to the horses. Go! Draw them off. All right, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. Oh. <laughs> We're getting you out of here. Draw them off us, Arthur. Get back. Stay <laughs> I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. Uh, knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. More! 
They're coming down the hill. Get out of here! More coming in on the left. Get the hell out of here! Get the hell out of here! Get up! Yep. Help him down. You're alive! You're alive! Come on, here we go. There we go. Ah, you careful, idiotas! It's his leg! Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We're in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? Well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Wait, look. There they are. Are you ready with that bow? 
Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel one. Nice. See if you can get another one. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. When you are. Come on, then. Let's head back. <laughs> Watch out! Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. <laughs> you must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Cut up here, off the trail. Thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master.
Well, well, well. <sighs> Just drop it down in here. Oh. What a surprise. I find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Oh, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'm gonna be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. There, boy. Stay alert there, Javier. Arthur. Come with you, boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess... I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> a party? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you... My fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Yeah! Watch it. Easy. All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, 
See if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. There they are. Uh, that's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit.